I am living in a simulation. Not you, not we, I live inside of a simulated universe. That's not meant to say that I'm the only real person because I can't guarantee that, but out of everybody's existence on this planet, I'm really only confident in my own because I'm the only one experiencing my life. Just how you're probably just as confident in your experience as I am mine. But it's very likely that none of us are actually real. Whoa, 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 Jace, Jace. That, that's crazy talk. Our world is not a simulation. Are you sure about that though? I mean, saying that we don't live in a simulation is just as big of a claim as saying that we do live in one when you really think about it. You can't definitively say that we're not living in a simulation any more than you can disprove the existence of God. Oh. Wait, since the 1990s when computers were being popularized, researchers started using computer simulations to try and answer the world's most burning questions. What causes war? What political systems are the most stable? How will climate change affect the global migration? Then someone along the way came up with an idea that changed how people viewed the entire universe. That idea was the blockbuster hit, The Matrix. For real though, that movie spread this theory like wildfire. What if computers one day were so powerful and these simulations were so sophisticated that each simulated person in the computer code was just as complex and complicated of an individual as you or me, to such a degree that these people actually believed that they were alive? Then someone asked an even deeper question. What if that has already happened? And what if we are those simulated people that think we're real? This hasn't happened yet. But if we were to create such a world in our own computers that was indistinguishable from real life, then it would guarantee that we are living in a simulation. There is no real way to prove or disprove the simulation theory, but since all the smart people out there support this idea, like philosopher Nick Bostrom, Elon Musk, Stephen Hawking, and Tom Campbell, fuck, even Neil deGrasse Tyson is 50-50 on this idea, I am just going to try and present some of the most convincing arguments on why we are in a simulation, and then you guys can make up your mind afterwards. The universe we live in seems procedurally generated. Imagine that our universe is just a program running in some outer simulation universe's computer. That computer, if it works in the same way that our computers work, would need to be pretty beefy to handle and render everything going on in our world. Some ways that the simulation can make it easier for this computer would be like, I don't know, having only a portion of its sims awake at any given point in time, only allowing a certain number of the world's population to interact face to face with each other by conveniently making some of the sims speak a completely different language than the others, and then having all the sims spread out and live very, very far away from each other. When the sims do happen to communicate with each other, a significant portion of it is all text-based. As the total number of sims increase, so does the number of screens that allow the sims to focus less on the detailed environments around them and instead waste time watching animated movies, playing video games, and fucking around on their cell phones all day. About 60% of what the sims can actually see is constantly out of focus. Things up close are clear, but as they get further away, the less detail there is and the more blurry things get. The sims know that there's a big world out there, but they still tend to spend most of their lives in the same two or three zones that they call home, school, and workplace. Has anybody ever noticed the constant recycling of faces? Having a maximum render speed, the speed of light and absolute zero are computational limits. Maybe the speed of light has to do with the maximum frame rate of our server. Quantum physics and the EM drive look like possible floating point errors. Light acts as a render of information and that's why it goes the same speed all the time and it does not have a mass. The universe expands faster than the speed of light, we know this, so if the distance of two points is great enough beyond that, things just don't get rendered. Why isn't light faster than the expansion of the universe? Why does the universe seem so obsessed with rendering and hiding information that's not needed to us? The more massive an object is, the slower time goes, so the information of the universe can process it all. If the object is so massive, information cannot be processed. For example, a black hole. Light does not render the black hole, so it just avoids that information. Time is relative, and if a sim goes to a planet close to a black hole like they do in the movie Interstellar, because there's just so much information, time slows down relative to the place with less information like Earth. It would be like moving to a file inside of a computer that gets downloaded in five minutes to another file with way more information that gets downloaded in one hour. And being on the file with more information, you get to be part of that process, slowing time down for you as well relative to the other file. So if you came back to the file after 30 30 minutes, the first file would have been downloaded a long time ago, but for you it would have only been like 2.5 minutes because that's how you would have perceived it on the 5 minute file in the first place. All of these things would definitely allow a powerful enough computer to handle a simulation as massive as our universe. 
Some other strange thoughts that led me to believe they were in a simulation are we are told all NPCs have the same conscious mind as us, that everybody is living a life just as complex and meaningful as yours, but I'm pretty sure I can predict my next interaction with a cashier or a bank teller or even my grandma pretty accurately. Kind of like after a video game, you know that the NPC is gonna say, I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Arrow in the knee. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Also, has anybody ever noticed that we're literally having the same conversation over and over again and we repeat mistakes from history and we never learn a thing? There's also a lot of glitches in the Matrix that we just like to put up as coincidence. Glitches like hearing your name when you know nobody's calling for you, or seeing your dad on the streets even though you know he cannot be there. When you walk into a room and completely forget what you're doing, that's a simulation freeing up RAM. Hell, the Mandela effect is just files in our memory that weren't deleted all the way when the overlords decided to run a new test. They wanted to see how much would change if they just altered some stuff. Uncle Sam's hat does not have red stripes. The Monopoly guy does not have a monocle. There's no dash in Kit Kat. Hello Clarice is not a quote in the Silence of the Lambs at all. Bernstein bears or Bernstein bears? I honestly have no fucking clue what it is. With all of this information, there are only two possible options. This is a real universe that behaves like a simulation, or this is a simulated universe that behaves like a simulation. I and many others are fairly convinced that we're just a sophisticated, self-aware computer program, or that we're just inside some higher being's video game. Well, so what? Why does it matter? What does it matter if we're in a simulation or not? Well. That's a good question. By knowing this information, our behavior shouldn't be affected too much. It's not like we can do anything about it. I don't think we could survive or even exist outside of our simulation. We don't know what the point is or what the true motivations of the simulators are. Maybe it doesn't matter. We'll probably never get a true answer to this, but it kind of is an interesting idea to think about that we're just some silly sims inside of one big PC game that became self-aware to the fact that we aren't real. I can't decide if it adds more or less meaning to life knowing that whatever I do doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's unsettling and comforting all at the same time. All I know is, is that if we are in a simulation, I really do hope the creators added some sort of afterlife expansion pack for when I'm done with this playthrough. Also, it would be really cool if the developers would actually listen to our feedback, but unfortunately, they never answer any of our customer service tickets. What is up, you guys? I just pulled an all-nighter to try and get this video done because I was, like, sick and tired of just postponing it. So it would honestly mean a lot to me if you could drop a like, let me know what you think in the comments, share it with friends, just show this video some love. Uh, if you're new to my channel, go check out my other videos because I think you're pretty cool, but if you're not new, then... I don't know, man. You do you. I'm too tired to think of an outro right now. I'm gonna go to bed. You guys have fun.